We're preparing for history along the Space Coast tonight. Glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. You're watching News 6 at 530. After a failed attempt a month ago, another company is gearing up to try sending its private, uncrewed spacecraft to scout out unexplored parts of the moon in just under seven and a half hours. Yeah, if the mission's a success, this will be the first time an American spacecraft lands on the moon since that 1972 Apollo 17 mission. As News 6's James Sparvero explains, there's a lot of optimism heading into this launch overnight. Here at Kennedy Space Center, NASA just told us in a new teleconference the launch continues to be on schedule for 1257 in the morning. Back there at pad 39A, the mission managers say the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and the Nova Sea lander from Intuitive Machines are ready for this exciting and also very difficult mission to the moon. All six NASA science and technology payloads on Intuitive Machines Mission 1 are go for launch. But I want to uh, highlight that landing on the moon is extremely challenging. You've probably seen that all over the past year. Yeah, just a month ago, the first company to try under this new NASA program, Astrobotic, failed when its Peregrine lander suffered a fuel leak and later burned up in our atmosphere. Last month, I interviewed Astrobotic CEO here at KSC, and then yesterday, I talked with the man now whose company is trying to land, the first American spacecraft on the moon since 1972. Intuitive Machines CEO Steve Altimus told me how NASA says the science on his lander can help pave the way for astronauts to explore the moon again. One of those innovations includes this visually appealing idea from students at Steve's alma mater Embry-Riddle. It's the Eagle Cam payload and it's the one that the students at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University have produced uh, that ejects a camera. But as we're approaching the surface of the moon and as we land the camera falls to the surface and takes a picture of our landing. And so we will get the first selfie or bird's eye view of landing on a celestial body. That picture has never been taken and we're looking forward to that awesome photo. And that historic photo op should happen on the 22nd when NASA says the lander should touch down. Again, the launch overnight is at 1257. If you're up, you can watch live on clickorlando.com. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six. All right, James, thank you. We also now know when the next astronauts will be heading to space. NASA posting on social media that SpaceX's Crew 8 mission is targeted for February 28th. That's two weeks from tomorrow. The astronauts will blast off from Kennedy Space Center to work on board the International Space Station just before 1 a.m. in the morning. James and News 6 anchor Eric Von Inken will bring you the latest of all things from the Space Coast every morning with their Space Coast and Beyond newsletter. You can subscribe right now on clickorlando.com newsletters.